Hello, friends and Oathbreakers of the internet. I have missed your faces. Tonight, we're going to be playing some Oathbreaker like we try to do every Thursday night. If you ever want to join us and play with us, then please join the Discord. We're happy to have you. If you look below, here are my YouTube subscribers. If you want to join the scroll, please unhead it over to YouTube for more Oathbreaker content. And if you want to support what we do even further, please become a patron. In doing so, you will unlock additional benefits. I also like to send out one signed card a month. This month is Narset, Parter of Veils. We are having a little trouble getting everybody set up tonight, but I'm going to set us over to the table, and it might be just a couple seconds before we're really up and running. So I appreciate everybody's patience and anybody who drops on in. So let me just switch my screen real quick. Oh, come on, machine. This is how I know I'm working from home. Let's, here we go. You will notice that um, the layout looks a little bit different. I'm trying something a little bit new. So far, it is just me. I did check the Discord. It seems like everybody's trying to get started, but if life was that easy, it probably wouldn't be worth doing. I want to just... I'm looking around and double-checking that it's actually streaming, because last week I thought Game 1 was streaming, and it never actually started, and that just broke my heart. Um, just threw out the text over on uh, Twitter. Hopefully we get some people. Oh, we got at least one. Already I'm doing better than I thought. If we can just keep the tech working with us instead of against us, we're going to have a great time tonight. I guess while I'm waiting for everybody else to come in, it might just take a couple seconds. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Um, it's saying I'm playing Banner's Rune, which I was the other day, so obviously my stream stuff didn't update. Well... You know what? I'm not going to worry too deeply about that tonight. Let's just have some fun and get into it as people join up. So tonight I am playing a Nico Bolas Dragon God deck with uh, Lazotep Plating as my signature spell. It's mostly here as a rescue spell for my creatures, keep, keeping a uh, mass board wipe from moving. It is a zombie army tribal deck. But, instead of using zombie army tokens, my main goal is to use changelings as my zombie army tokens. That's going to allow me to choose where the 1-1 counters actually go. So that's the majority of my game plan. I have a lonely dog who decided she needed to shove open my door and welcome herself into my room. So, don't know that I can get her on camera without a lot of effort. There we go. Well, I'm ready to go. I'm just gonna pop over to the Discord and see what else is going on. While it's just me and somebody else, I guess I'll throw up the YouTube link if you wanna check out and subscribe. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything about Oathbreaker you wanna know, this is a great time to pick my brain because, well, I'm here. <laughs> you know? Oh, it seems like I... Let's see, not give me option, join the game, just shine ball death. Yeah, everybody's having a little bit of trouble getting spell table to work tonight. Ah, he Azulico, best followers, prime, and viewers on. Oh, well, okay, that's somebody trying to get people over to another store. Bummer. I was hoping that was. <laughs> well, that's still fine though. Let's see, now we got people coming in little by little. So I think we're still waiting on poor Fred. If I read correctly, our last player is having camera technical issues. Oh, two of our players are having camera technical issues. <laughs> I can see the floor of somebody's house and their dog. Dogs. <laughs> There we go. Feel come! Yeah. I'm gonna actually mute some of the desktop output just so you guys don't get any loud noises while people are setting up. 
downside is, is that means we're probably going to lose the music, so I apologize for that. There we go. It can be rough to get started. Can you hear me okay, Jake? I can, yeah. Okay. Hey, now we got everybody. Now what trouble can we get up to tonight? Okay. I gotta let you go, puppy dog. I can't keep paying attention to you. I got something to do. I know you forced your way in there. That's in here. That's nice. <laughs> so, how are you all doing this evening so far? Now that we finally got over the minor technical issues. Like, my day went from like a seven to like a one real fast. Okay. Good. Yeah. I get, I get that. Your microphone is peaking just a little bit for some reason, Die. What was that? Your microphone's peaking a little bit. It's coming in real loud on the stream, it looks like. Oh, okay. Give me just a yeah. minute. No problem. <clears throat> so you guys are still kind of shuffling up and getting set up. I did kind of already introduce my deck to the stream. But I'll introduce it again. I'm playing a Nico Bolas Dragon God deck with Lazo Tep Plating as my signature spell. It is a Changeling Tribal deck. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yep. So, what trouble did you bring to the table this week, the Ornithologist? I I brought uh, Kazmina, uh, Enigma Sage, and I'm going to be running a uh, Fractal Tribal. Fractal right. tribal. Tribal. Right. Interesting. Lady, what are what trouble are you getting up to? Is that soaring with that wing broom? That is. Okay. We've seen this before. Anybody who's been on the stream, you will be prepared to see a lot of token tribal and changelings become a problem pretty uh, not changelings and planeswalkers become a tri uh, problem pretty fast. And Fred, is that Jaya or is that Sarkon you've got there? It's Sarkon I'm broken. And I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to go wide as well. I'm doing like token tribal kind of thing. Not really any particular token, but just lots of token. Okay. So this is gonna be a uh, wacky. It seems like I'm the only one not really running a token strategy, so we'll see if I can hang in there with the big boys. Um it's just a broad statement. Big, big everybody's. Everybody's but me's. Um, well, I'm going to start randoming, randoming up the table then. Yeah, I'm still shuffling, and I think I need to find my headphones, because I'm having a hard time hearing anybody over the <laughs> children's and puppies. Mm -hmm. Understandable. So. <laughs> Once. That didn't change anything. Twice. And three times. There we go. It looks like you will be starting us once you're ready, lady. Oh, I see okay. what I did. I think I only actually did it twice, and I also reset the game. So it knocked all of our commanders and signature spells out. I'm sorry about that. That's fine. It gives me a thing to do. <laughs> now I just gotta learn how to type, and I'll be fine. That I get. Mm. Oh <coughs> Back there, puppy. Okay. Anybody who's watching in the chat, if it gets loud or there's any sound issues, let me know. I'm still pulling things around on my end. Okay. One fact, Jasmina is like a dollar fifty on the music player right now, so we're gonna go <laughs> Okay, that one. Okay. 
I can't. Do you have other planeswalkers in there? There's a couple. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Does everybody else have a. Oh, and I guess we're still working on hands. Sorry. No, I'm, I'm, doing that. I'm, I'm doing mine too. I had them all again. Let's see. Any question you guys have about Oathbreak or anything, we're happy to answer on screen. Just to chat them on in. I try to keep a pretty good eye on it. I can keep this one. Okay, I'm good. Okay. I keep waiting for them to finish the three color. I would love for them to do that. But you've been waiting a long time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Legion's Landing. Mm -hmm. I get it. Dang, <laughs> Vampire. Okay. All right. And that'll be it for me. Go ahead. All right. Well, I make up a vampire. Okay. Okay. I'm going to play an island and pass. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna play a fetch, and I'm gonna go fetch for a try on the no pass. I'm gonna be at 19. Okay. I'll play a uh, command tower, and I will pass. Okay. All right. Um. Uh -oh. Sounds like trouble's about to happen. I forgot to drop my first turn. What did you? Yep. Okay. Uh, past turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, um, good news, bad news. Okay. Um, I am going to, um, I'm going to end my turn and pass and discard. Did you, did you not play a land? I did not play a land. I... I had a I had a hand I took a gamble on and I'm like this might bite me and Ooh. it bit me and how <laughs> oh my uh what are we doing here what are we doing here just just so I don't seem entirely crazy these are rocks <laughs> okay okay um like this is probably gonna work I will play this land tapped and I'll pass okay. I realized as I was looking at my hand that my turn to play was probably going to involve actually needing a zombie army, so I started making one. Um, I'm going to play a red mana, and I'm going to tap one in a black for a Lazotep Reaver. When it enters the battlefield, I amass one. And I guess I'll pass the turn. I think me and Jake made similar mistakes. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. If we lose game one, there's always a game two, you know? True. True. Uh, to um, those... Mm -hmm. Also, I just shuffled this up for the first time like 20 minutes ago, so... Ah. The brand new baby baby uh, command, uh, Oathbreaker deck. Yeah. When I uh, post the video on YouTube for any of our viewers, I do try to get the links in the uh, description if you're interested in what decks we're playing with. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pass. Oh. 
more than one of us kept kept uh, questionable hands. If yours no. is even slightly, oh no, okay. It's like a little bit of interaction over there. I'm gonna pass again because that was not a land. Oh, Boy, face. Yeah. No, it's still Bro. true that more than one of us did. I was counting myself, Ty. <laughs> uh. Oh. Yeah. Um. I guess I can make my first play. Uh, I'm gonna go fetch and get um. I'm gonna get uh. What am I doing? I don't know. What are you doing? I'm gonna take a life. I'm gonna get 18. I'm gonna get a uh, maybe an item. That one sounds good. Mm-hmm. Actually, wait. That, yeah. Wait. No, I need a. Actually, I don't have to. Do it. Yeah, I'll get an item anyway. There we go. Got an item. We did it. And I'm gonna play a scoot swarm. It's cute. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all I got. I'll pass it. Mm-hmm. And it's a 1-1? One, one? It's a 1-1, one, one and I get a... Well, until I get six of them, I just keep getting 1-1 one, one tokens, but then when I get six lands one day, mm-hmm. then it'll mm-hmm. start copying itself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to swing at you for a 2, Fred, with a 2-1 oh. one and a 1-1. One, one. So, so for three, then? Or no? Uh, no, it's still two. It's a two one. It's a, I'm sorry. It's a one two and a one one. Sorry. Uh, okay, there we go. Sorry. Right. Well, yeah, I'll take the two. Okay. And I'll actually take three. So that's it. There we go. Mhm. Yeah. Okay. And then um, I'll pass the turn. Two. <laughs> Planes. Um, you know what? Yeah. So we're going to pull out Soren. Mm-hmm. I gain a life. Blue. You gain a life? Oh, you're doing it's his plus? Interplanar. No, interplanar oh. beacon. Okay. Gain you and having a planeswalker enter the battlefield. Mm-hmm. Just getting started. Yeah. And then. <laughs> We'll go and ahead and good. plus one him. Mm-hmm. Tokens. Yeah. There's... And I'll make another vampire. <laughs> and this mm-hmm. one will be a black one instead. Hey. Um, and that'll be my turn. Jake, get a land. I, I believe in you. Yeah. Yay. Part of uh, the cards. Part of the cards. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Nice. Nice. Ramp it to the moon. But I, know. Know, I'm I know. Still out of things to do. That's it for you? Yep. Alrighty. Okay. Not the greatest. Um, I will. Let me this pre ordain. I strike two and draw a card. Mm hmm. Seems good. Um, that's not terrible. I'll put that one on the bottom, and I will draw this one. Mm-hmm. And I will. Ooh, can I do both? Yeah. I'm, well, it doesn't really matter now. I'm going to pay two, and oh, I should have done this a different way. Whatever. I'm going to cast Explore. I draw a card, and I can play an additional one in this turn. Yeah. You draw a card and then can play an additional land, you said? Yeah. My first land will be just Fill to the Dead. If I get a 1 1 insect, and I'll find a card for that. And then uh, my second land will be a Fetch Land, and I get another 1 1 insect. And that will be my turn. And I'll pass there. Seems good. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I'm gonna pay three for a bloodline pretender, and I'm gonna choose a zombie as my creature type. Seems good. Yeah. And then I will figure it out. Hmm. I will pass the turn, sadly. Huh. Okay. Sometimes I just feel a turn behind. I'm sure everybody can understand that, having played Magic for years. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Could be worse. At least I've played land every turn. Evolving Wilds. Seems good. Mm -hmm. well, I have one of those somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> If you ever draw it, I'm sure Fred does too, actually. Yep. Pretty good with landfall. Indeed. And you'll also run in Terramorphic in there as well? Yep. yep. Just one, one of every oh. fetch land you could? <laughs> Basically, yeah. Well, there you go. There is an evil plan. This is funny. I'm gonna play the Wanderer. Oh, interesting. Um, hmm. Uh -huh. uh, uh, let me see. That's unfortunate, really. That's what I wanted to do. But, uh -huh. Um, hmm. Let me let me see if I want to respond to that. Uh, 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. I'll I won't do anything. Go ahead. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Unexpected. Mm -hmm. That's upside down. <laughs> oh no. Not upside down. Oh. Okay. Mm. Um, and then uh, I'll plus one Soren for another vampire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seems good. And I've got to run outside and grab our dinner. Um, yeah, I need to make another vampire, and why don't that'll you just, be Yeah, why don't you just put, like, two counters on the one you got? That's the same. Nah. Oh, either way. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Good to see the pretty guy. Oh, already. Well, I'm not really doing art right now. I got stuff to do, but... Fair enough. I'm mm -hmm. sure I could pull up my already made ones. All right, I'll be right back. All right. Mm -hmm. Are you done? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Did we get a lunch you turned in around? Uh, I did not, but I did have a plan for what I was going to do anyway. Um... We're going to have Everflowing Chalice on one. Nice. And then we're going to Civic Signal. <laughs> you were serious about those rocks. I, I really was. <laughs> um, but I am going to be done and pass. Okay. Huh. Okay. Um. Now I just have to, you know build a board state quickly. Little details like that, you know? Nobody, nobody. Little details. Yeah. Um, I feel like I want to do this. My land drop. Here we go. Um, it's, a, it's a brain. I do that also. Um, maybe I'll take it slow instead. Hmm. You have some one ones. You also have one one. George has life link. <clears throat> well, I think I will swing this whole three your way. Ornithologist. Three, huh? A whole three, yep. I'll take it under protest. 
<laughs> then I'll fetch to 14. I'll probably get, I'm just going to get a, uh, a mountain. And mm-hmm. with that mountain, I will play this murmuring okay. mystic. And I yeah. will pass the turn there while I'm going to fetch that. Fetch Sounds out. good. Yep. yep. Lady had tiny hands come in and ruin her board stage and just knock cards around. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice that. I was looking down there. Yeah. She'll notice in a second, I'm sure. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, rude. I guess Ew. I will play a thriving bluff. Oh, I don't have a... You know what? I'm just going to grab a black dice if I can find one. So, yeah, this taps for black. And then I think what I'll do is I'm not going to get to play my mean game. I'm going to play nice this game, I guess. I'm going to play... Yeah, Tiny Hands came in and ruined your play, your game table. Yeah, your play space. So there's additional cost to cast this spell. I discard a card. It was actually Theo that did it. It wasn't Theo. It was it was tiny hands, not paws. Damn. Yeah. I'm gonna discard uh, Liliana's contract. Draw two cards okay. and amass one. I'm gonna put that woman counter on my uh, bloodline pretender. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. Mm-hmm. And then. And a headset. Bummer. I think I'm one mana short of doing anything worthwhile, so I guess I'll pass the turn. Alright, I just did get back and I have a mouse. Yeah, yeah, we saw tiny hands come in and ruin your play space. Tiny hands? Tiny hands. Mm-hmm. Yep, they were kid hands. Wow, Gavin. No, you can't blame this one on Theo, dude. His his hands were on camera. He was he was on Twitch. Yes. <laughs> we have evidence. <laughs> so I don't think you missed anything super fun. I don't think you're that far behind at least, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so Gavin, you can't say Theo did it because everybody else saw you do it. Busted. Yeah. (laughs) It's literally on camera. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I for my turn I'm gonna pop my bobby notes. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. On the plus side, you needed the shuffle anyway, so. <laughs> Worked out. I'll be scooping out. I'll be scooping out. It's pretty close. I think I'm making a spirit in the other one. I'm ready to do the insects. That's fine. Um, they're almost insects. Um, I'll talk to you. Uh oh, where'd my hand go? I think you picked it up when you picked up the rest of the deck. Oh, they got shoveled together, yeah. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately. What am I going to do? Um, Is everybody okay with targeted. her? Yeah. Yeah, just yeah, grab the screen, yeah. Hand. Five charge or whatever you have. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember how many cards you had in your hand? I think it was five. Yeah, go ahead and draw five. Well, thanks for the pity, guys. I appreciate it. Well, we wa- we watched what happened, so I mean, it's yeah. it's obvious it wasn't. You're not cheating, and you didn't do anything wrong, you know. Yeah. You know, so. 
It'd, out of you. it'd be a little little mean to hold it against you. you know? yeah, yeah. But then, yeah, nothing you could do about that, yeah. 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 Hmm. Although I suppose technically that means Gavin will have been on YouTube at some point now. <laughs> <laughs> well, his hands anyway. It's close enough. <laughs> Emblem. Yep, that's worth doing. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, awesome. Uh -oh. I just reading reading some cards. I heard that's pretty good. So I could do that. And it leaves me open. Formulating a new strategy. Because I got a new hand. <laughs> Fair enough. What does the wonder down pick do? Um, uh, exile permanence. Uh, yeah. Nasty. I think they have to be of a certain mana value or something or power or something. Uh, target creature with power four or greater. Mm, okay. Okay. Um, oh, I just realized another problem. Okay. What's that? My, my headset is wound up in my chair. Ah. Uh. So I think <laughs> Gavin took my chair for a spin, too. Uh. And, like, my interface is, like, hanging off of my desk, and I can't pick my head up. So... Uh, yeah. Gross. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure something out. Um, let's do Brymaz. Mm hmm. Um, I put this one, I think it is. Um, He's one of them. <laughs> oh, wow. Hers is also a token deck. Yeah. A little better than me. Well, quite a bit better. Um, okay, so I'm going to plus one Soren mm -hmm. for another vampire. Mm -hmm. And then um, I will. Oh, Jake, you're open. Yes, I am. Sorry about it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got three vampires coming at you. All right, and I get three life, and then I get to flip my Legion's Legion. landing. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it becomes a land as well. Yay! Sweet. So then, going into second main phase. Mm -hmm. Um, real quick. Thank you. Um, so, pick my hand back up wherever I put it. There it is. Um, yeah, it's fine. Oh, what the heck? This will be fun. Puppy dog. Oh, wait. No, I can't do that, actually. Back up. Um... Well, there you go. Well, this one I can do, though. Mm. I probably should have did this first. Uh, Soren Solemn Visitor. Okay. Um... And... I'll go ahead and plus one him, but it doesn't really do anything to anybody because I already attacked. Mm -hmm. um, okay. But I wouldn't have been able to play him anyway if I didn't flip my Legion's Landing, so... Okay. That's fine. You know, yeah. 
Yeah. Not like I could have done it a different way. Okay. <coughs> and I gain a life for playing Walker and pass turn. Alright. Let's see what I can do now that I have mana. You know what? Fine. Fine. I see. Temple of the False God. Mm-hmm. Oh. I see. <laughs> So you drew an on land and played it. Basically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need. Mean, it will be a land one day. Let's see. Yeah. We're gonna one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go Ardnex and Nev, twin casters. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Okay. No. Yes, yeah, That's exactly what I didn't want you to do. Dude, stop. Stop. Talking to the dog or Jake? Well, not me. I'm not doing anything important right now. Um, that being said, I am going to go ahead and end my turn. Okay, you got one uh, up there. Okay. Um, yeah, let me see. I uh, have word two and one more. Two. Okay. Um, I like to use this. Uh, Set it somewhere. Does the wonder is it just you print all my card damage? Oh, you and control. Darn. Uh, but but it is non-combat army. damage, so. Yeah. Yeah, I have a lightning bolt. I'm trying to see where to send it. Uh, Probably at a planeswalker. <laughs> well, that's the problem. Is it, it already pre- it prevents the damage, right? That's why I can't. Oh, so that's right. I don't I'm think gonna... it, I thought it was just non combat damage to creatures. No, get controls. out of here. No, prevent all non combat damage that will be dealt to you and other permanents you control. Oh. So, it's pretty um, good. So, no burn um, for you. Yeah, I'm going to send this upstairs at you, Signature Spell Bomb. Lightning Bolt. That's, that's right. That's so fine. I actually, uh. I'll take it on the chin. Uh oh. Can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. I can hear you. Because I can't hear you now. That's not good. Oh no. You can hear me. We can hear you. Um, but if she can't hear me, I guess saying that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. yeah. No, you say that. I'm going to run over um, to the Discord and let her know that we can hear her. Okay. I don't have, I have a couple of features. Not nearly enough. Um, there we go. I would really like to draw some cards off tomorrow. Get a T2 over there. One, two, three, four, five. Let's draw a couple of cards. Let me see some new things. Um, I think that's what I want to do. That's where I want to be in my life. I'm going to pay five. I can get that guy out. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Draw the card. Give me. Yeah, that's not the worst either. Eh, here we go. I'm going to pay five for Oren Frostfang. Uh, all my attacking creatures have death touch, and when a creature I control deals damage to a player, I can draw a card. Okay. And I will one, two, three, four, five. Wait, that's five. Mm-hmm. I'll play. This will be my six land, and I'll make a copy of this guy. Okay. And uh, I will represent that in some mystical way. So I have a copy of them, but he has a uh, uh, somebody sickness. And I will move to combat. Mm-hmm. Seems good. I would like to. We have a bunch of one, two. All right. Is what? How big's your um? Where's the mimic? The the bloodline pretender. It's a three three. The three three now. That's pretty beefy for what I've got. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well. Well. I hate to do this to you, ornithologist, but um. Got some, uh, got a couple people coming to visit you here. Uh, just uh, three on the ground, three, 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 one, one's on the ground, and one, one, one in the air. I'll block one, one, one on the ground. Yep. And and take, take uh, three. Three total, and I'll draw three cards. Mm-hmm. Wait, 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 wait. All my attacking creatures have death touch. Do you still want to block? Uh, no, I will not block them, no. Okay. I will draw four cards. I was unaware of the death touch. Yeah, that's the Owen Frost thing, though. 
And he I, just played I, that this turn, but I think we're all going a little fast right now. Yeah. Yeah. It I happens. Can't get more than one mana though, so that's not great. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'm just going to. Yeah, I just have to pass. Yeah. Pass. Okay. Yep. I will untap, upkeep, draw. Hmm. Theo, get out oh, of yeah. here. I will play, I guess, a swift water cliffs tapped and uh, gain a life. Mm -hmm. oh, that may actually plus. This is the problem with me clicking back and forth between stuff. Is sometimes the Stop. register changes. Um, oh, yeah. let's see. Hmm. There's what I want to do, and there's what I've got to do, you know? Necessary evil. You know, I actually think the thing for me to do at the moment is to pay one and a blue. Uh, bounce the Orn Frost Fang. Why? It's so cool. Because it gives right. your stuff death touch. <laughs> well, only only attacking things. So. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Um, let's see. Uh, um, really, really? You don't want to bounce yeah. it? Yeah. Never mind. Okay. It is a sorcery, so if I'm going to use it, I do need to use it now, though. Sadly, which is a bummer. Yeah. You know what? I'll go this route. I'm going to pay five for Call to the Grave. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player sacrifices a non-zombie creature. If at the beginning of the end step, if there are no creatures on the battlefield, then I have to sacrifice Call to the Grave. Fair enough. I'll, I'll pass the turn. Okay. So, during your upkeep, you have to sacrifice a non-zombie creature. Um, I got another. I got another. Yeah, Poor white zombie. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't. White vampire, you mean? Because if he was a white zombie, you wouldn't have to sacrifice him. I know. Yeah. I was trying to be funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not funny. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Everybody gets better with practice. Keep trying. You'll you'll uh, you'll get there. I have faith in your ability. <laughs> I have faith in you. You can do it. You can be uh, better than me. Okay. Mm. Cool. <laughs> what I always wanted. To be better than me? Well, at least you got good goals. Ah! Uh, what am I doing with my life? Well, I played a land and I didn't even draw. I, I'm so frazzled right now, guys. Um, mm hmm. Well, you kind Sorry. of had to restart a game you were in the middle of at least once already, so I get that. Yeah. yeah. So, honesty time, guys. Um, I might only have it in me for one game tonight anyway. How are you guys all feeling? I want to get your, your read. I've just had a pretty bad week, would be the nicest way I could put it, without divulging too much information. <laughs> You know? Yeah. Today's been pretty rough for me, so I'll, I'll be fine with uh, one game as well. Yeah. I'll be fine as well. Yeah, okay. Same. Yeah. Now, if our viewers want one more, I can be persuaded, but otherwise, I'm not, I'm not going to fight it on my own. <laughs> um, one, two, oh, three. Mm -hmm. Welcoming Vampire. Mm -hmm. Seems good. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Um, and then the sword's gonna make another vampire. Mm-hmm. So I'll just put this guy back down except he's black. Blue. Oops. And it triggers the welcoming vampire. So and that's why that card's good, because it's on mm -hmm. enters, not on cast, which I love. Right. Yeah. So draw a card. I kinda wish all new good white card draw wasn't usually printed at rare. That does hurt me a smidge. As a budget player. Yeah. It's like, oh. 
Well, this doesn't actually make the color better for a commander if people can't afford the cards, you know? Very true. Right, I know. Melodies. Nice. I know probably not everybody has, oh, you're going to go get find a planes, I guess, on it, huh? Indeed. Yeah. Um, I know not everybody probably had a chance to go and check it out yet, but did you guys see the three new planeswalkers in uh, New Capenna? I did. Yeah. They're interesting. Yeah. I'm... I think Oblixis is going to be the most interesting. Um, I think Vivian is... She feels over-costed to me. I agree. I, I think, I, like, I, in terms, I feel like she could have been a four. I think she could have been a four. She might yeah. be a little broke at four, but I feel like that's not bad. I can't well, it's from there with four loyalty, four mana. At, I mean, six Well, she does. She also doesn't have an ult, you know? She's... That's mm -hmm. true. You know? Well, so, her, I mean, her plus two is really good, but I don't know if it's six good, is the thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I agree with that. We'll have to see. I'm a little concerned that the Elsbeth is maybe a little too build around. It'd probably be really good in Ladies' deck, actually, though. Putting yeah. a 1 1 counter and then either a flying lifelink or what was it? I think vigilance counter on a creature every single turn. And that's not an or, that's an and. It's a 1 1 counter and one of those other types of counter. Oh, and shield. Gonna... And I was going to uh, slot her into my Sarah deck and maybe trade out Sarah for her in the inside yeah. the deck. I'm a little concerned cons because it, I think shield counters don't do anything unless you have something else that says a shield counter does something. You know? Because there's one creature oh. that says when, um, when it would take damage, you essentially remove the shield counter, kind of like you would regenerate a creature in old school terms. Yeah. You know? But that's the only only card that says that. There's other ones that say remove a, a counter from the creature, do something, you know? So I'm I'm a little concerned that maybe she will have to be built around within the set to be good. So until I see something from Wizards telling me exactly how shield counters are supposed to work, I'm a little concerned that she might not actually be as good as I was thinking. Hmm. But if they give us two two good white planeswalkers, two planes in a row, that would be an interesting change of pace. Because the water okay. is doing a lot of good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm giving all of my creatures plus one, plus oh, and lifelink. Mm -hmm. Until the end of turn. Yep. Okay. okay. And... That's problematic. I mean, for you, I'm, I'm okay with it. <laughs> it's just eight damage. It's still good. It's still good. No big deal. Uh oh, I'm kind of wishing I hadn't played Call to the Grave now. Poor Jake. Yeah, yeah. That's, um, I I think I'm probably actually done. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off. So unless okay. you want to block, so uh, that's I... ten, and then I've got a cat that's coming in from Brian Mass. Okay. Um, it's a. So it's going to be a 2-1 cat soldier with Vigilance. And he also has Vigilance, so... Mm -hmm. so um, total? It would be 12. Yep. 12. And there's one of those that's a 3, you said? 4. There's one that's a 4. I'll block the one that's a 4. Is it going to block Ramaz? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So, and 2, so 4, four eight, 6, eight, 7, 8. Yep. <laughs> okay. You survive. Yeah, I, mean, I, was, I was gonna sacrifice my only creature at the beginning of my turn anyway, so it's not really a huge change. Not true. Go get gadget lifelink and pass turn. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a lot of life, you right there. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Oh well, see, we we didn't know that she was playing commander. That was the problem. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we'd we'd be fine if we'd also played commander. So. We need so, the memo. <laughs> I've actually I've got two commander decks that are coming in. Mm -hmm. um, I have been trying to think of a way to convert them into Oathbreaker decks. Mm -hmm. So uh, that me, might be fun. Yeah. Let me clear that. that. Yeah, it is. They're going to be Pokemon themed decks. Yes. It looks like you're doing um, Halana. Are you also doing um, her part? The partner commanders. The red and green partner uh, commanders. 
or just no Tawana? i'm i'm doing the cat uh it's uh pelvis for her oh. partner okay and then Sylvalia. Um, I'm gonna Sil Valley, but that's Chromat. Yeah. So it's, it's a Wooberg. I'm gonna fetch on your turn, Ornithologist. That's gonna, gonna be go really that. hard to adapt because you just might not have a Planeswalker in those colors. I mean, it's right. possible. I bought in some like commander decks that had a Planeswalker in them that if I removed every other color except for like say black, I'd still have enough to run a full uh, Oathbreaker deck with well, slight modifications, you know. So for the for the the partner one, it's just black green, and I'm getting the black green Vraska with it. So oh. mm -hmm. I might be able to do that. Um, it's gonna be fun, um, but yeah, the Wooburg one I'm having a hard time with. I mean, the easiest answer is is in our play group when we play at Hobby Town, we've got at least two people that are already running, um, you know, the uh, Urza, the five color unglued Urza, because that's literally uh -huh. the only option. So, right with your regular play group, I don't think anybody would really mind if you did it. Hey, Her Her Horizon, yeah. it's been a bit. It's been a hot I'm minute. going to um, pass. So. Oh, you play Kathleen? Okay. Yep. Cool. I, I fetched and I got some more triggers from this landfall guy. That was it. Uh, up. Horizon's back. Okay. Yay! Did I do that right? Yeah, did I do that right. Drop. Oh, boy. Damn. Well, at least that now you're at a point too. where you can make creatures. Oh, did you remember to sacrifice a creature during your upkeep, Fred? Oh, I did not. I will sacrifice one of these tokens. Just has to be a non-zombie. Yeah. Yep. I don't think Call of the Grave is really going to hurt anybody but Jake, so... Yeah, it's... Yeah. I probably would have been okay just not playing it this game. Sorry, Jake. Sorry, you beat Ornithologist. Wow. What is... Destroy up to three target creatures and or... Oh, that's not good. Nobody can actually get through. You know, do you have any flyers or vigilance over, over there? Uh, she's she's uh, got not vigilance. flyers, no. She's got two vigilant uh, creatures. Um, the uh, what the two two cat yeah. and the uh, no, three three brown mass. He, uh, brown mass is a one or a three four. But oh yeah, I've got to put that cat out. Hold on. Yep. Yep. Um, she's also she does have a flying creature, isn't the uh, welcoming vampire flying? Oh, oh that's right. Yeah. Dang. You're right. All right. I thought I, I think, could get through some damage, but I cannot. Okay, well. I think the problem is, is her boards just got complex enough that it's just hard to find everything. Honestly, yeah. I'd be really careful about thinking you can get damage in on her because of her signature spell is a fog, Fred, that'll deal you damage. Well, and I've also got the Wanderer out. Yep. Um, no, the Wanderer doesn't stop combat damage. Yeah. Oh. Wait, it's how only... much does your fog cost? What's the... Uh, let me, I can look up. Never mind, I see it. I see it. Yeah. Uh, we're not combat damage. But you only have one man. Wait, you have two men. Wait, you have one. I have mana two. Up? I have two. Mana up. Mm -hmm. I thought that can, can that add mana to spin for anything? I thought it can only do um wind buffers, right? Uh uh. No, it it gives a colorless. It just has a uh, a trigger effect when planeswalkers come into play. Yeah, I think you have uh, to okay, spend okay. one mana and tap it to get two mana of any color that can only be spent to cast planeswalkers. I see. But it's this a colorless can... otherwise. Yeah. So okay. right now you can pay white and a colorless to play that spell, but you can't do the black and white, right? Don't Correct. You? Okay, so I won't take damage, but you still also won't take damage. So yeah, this is tough. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to get through what she's doing. Your, your stuff has death touch. Yeah, that is something. But but it's gonna yeah. prevent wait, prevent all common damage to be dealt this turn. So yeah, it doesn't matter though. Yeah. Hey, hey Fred, I probably here's why I wouldn't attack. She's at thirty nine yeah. life. She can literally choose not to block anything you attack her with and just move on with her day. <laughs> yeah. <you're not> <laughs> She's so far ahead that even with you having death touching and getting damage through, I don't know that you can do enough to make a difference at the moment. Maybe. I don't know what other other maybe flash or overrun effects you have. It's just I know your main overrun is locked behind your commander right now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try something. See how it goes for now. I'm okay. going to I'm gonna play should... this uh, Champion of Lamholt. Yep. And Ooh, then, seems good. Then I will. Do I have to play? Yeah. Just trying to look out more... for it. I appreciate it. I, I I hear where you're coming from. 
But then I'll play a land I need to play four. Four will turn to eight. So this number should be a seven. So four creatures I'm gonna play, and that gives her four counters. Okay. But four So nothing with power or... four or less. Or five or less yeah. actually can be blocked now that you control. I decided four. Mm -hmm. Four mm -hmm. and three. There we go. These are four of those that are sick. That's what they're doing. All right, I'm getting there. Um, and now, but if you have any way to remove that, then I'm still back in a bad spot. But I mean, you know, the game's got to end one day. So I'm going to move to combat and I'm going to. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, I wish I had better mana attack there. Oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna move to combat and I'm gonna swing just two of these and the spirit at you, lady. Just three damage. I just want the cards more than anything else. Okay, cool. Yep. So three. Yeah. And then I'll drop. I'll drop three. And that did not help me like I thought it was going to. Mm -hmm. Uh, then I wish I had one more mana back than my guy, but I can't, so I won't. Uh, I'm gonna fetch here, go down to twelve, <coughs> and then I'm gonna get a forest. Mm -hmm. And with that forest, I'm going to the red card. With that red card, I'm going to play. Uh, Joriel. The, okay. So every turn, the second time I draw my second card again, I did a 2-2 cat. And uh, that's going to be... I think I have to pass there. Okay. Actually, wait. wait. Do I have two green? I do have two. Uh, actually, I have one more play. I'm going to cast a ponder, draw my second card for the turn to make my first cat. And that will be all I can do. Is that card also oh, no, no, no. I also, I also already drew my second card, so that's not going to trigger. Never mind. I will pass the turn holding that up. And um, off okay. to the races. This is another creature that came to play. Go for it. You're, you're off to the races. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to play a... Driving Isle tapped. I don't control any non-zombie creatures, so I can't sacrifice a non-zombie creature. Um, I'm going to have this interplay, and I'm going to say it taps for red mana as well as a blue. Okay. I'm going to play that. Um, I'll pay one and... Oh. Nope, can't do that. Hmm, bummer. I guess I'll just I'll play my commander actually. I'm gonna play mm -hmm. Nico Bolas Dragon God. I'm going to minus two him going down to two. And I'm gonna make a sworn emblem saying all my creatures get plus one plus oh. Uh, nice. Nice touch. Yeah. yeah, playing against a planeswalker deck actually helps my sworn deck, uh, my Nico Bolas deck. Weird. I thought about making a 1-1 one, one vampire with lifelink, but I don't really see how that helps me. <laughs> this yeah. Yeah. You could scry two, or sorry, scry one, or plus two. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe in a bit, you know? Um, actually, yeah, I'm gonna do that instead. Yeah, I'm gonna do that instead because I think I'd rather, right? yeah, I think I'd rather set up my deck to draw a land that doesn't interplay tapped for for a change, you know? Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Fair. Yeah, seems like a good better idea. Or I could just not do the thing I just said I was gonna do. Um, the downside is nothing I can do draws me a card, so. Yeah, I'll do it this way. I'll I look at at the top. And I put it back. Um, I will pass. Okay. 
One of these days, I'm going to trick Horizon into playing Oathbreaker with us. That would be mm. fun. Yeah. I mean, he's watched enough of the streams, or they've watched enough of the streams. I'm not certain about that, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to backpedal a smidge. I checked out the profile real quick. Didn't really answer the question, so... <laughs> <laughs> and I'd rather not guess. <laughs> oh, did you remember to sacrifice a uh, non-zombie creature during your upkeep? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, but I will do that now. I mean, it does very little to you when you can immediately replace it, so... <laughs> Which is true. Mm, it's a little bit of a bummer. Mm. Um... Uh -oh. He's he's a little troublemaker, isn't he? Yes, he yeah. is. Painful. I'm trying not to be mean because I could have just drawn a card from Nico Balas and made you all exile something, and that just felt uncool. <laughs> just felt uncool. Um, not sure how to get through that wall of uh, token. I don't think you can win if you don't, though, so... Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I think you just gotta create, create a much larger wall is the issue. Yeah, gotta make her use that spell several times. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Or she'll just kill me in response. So. Okay. Here we well, are. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Doesn't seem so, to hurt me. Adeline responded at Cathar. Okay. Oh, no. She's a oh, seven no. right now. That's not good. Mm -hmm. Seems good. Mm -hmm. It's actually starting to get dark in here. Um, and then... I hate that there's a dark shadow on my playmat I can't do anything about. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's literally just because my playmat is up over my laptop. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Let's see here. I thought it would make better looking play space for Twitch. Let's see. Um. Ooh. I think the sorry cat would be fun. You know, um, if you can use the virtual camera in OBS, we'll let you play via Tapped Out or Cockatrice or uh, Moxfield if you just want to get in with us. Oh, thank you. I love my playmat too. It's uh, If you're interested in having one, I actually have them for sale on our Inked Gaming shop. Uh, I've got a couple different pieces of art up on uh, Inked Gaming uh, that are just different playmats. It's different art I've made over the years. Including some of the pieces I did for my um, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty Neon Altar Sleeves for cards from the original Kamigawa. That was a that was a sentence, a lot of words. Um. All right, so I up Soren. Mm -hmm. Um, gonna up the other Soren. Okay. What's the counter on the new? Um, I forgot her name already. Yeah, I think the it's new... eight. Whatever her defense is. Yeah, eight eight. Uh, oh, eight yeah. four. Yep. Wait, hold on. Yeah, because she makes another vampire from Soren. Then she gives all of her creatures Fair. plus one plus one in life link so far. Fair. She's mm -hmm. eight four, not a minion. I'm sorry, guys. No problem. Um. And then. What was my second step of the personality? Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Wall. Huh. I'll have a wall. Sure. Mm -hmm. So that'll make her nine. Ease. Mm -hmm. Wall. I bounce your wall? No, I'm kidding. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you really want to, sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I kind of do. You would just lose it. There we go. Wall. I agree with you. 
Okay. Um. So yeah, she's a nine now. I mean, she's not attacking this turn anyway, so not that big of a deal, but it will be later, I guess. Okay. And let's see here. Oh, Fred is ready for me. I'm just hanging out. Let's see here. Oh, and then draw for welcoming vampire. Sorry. Just like, oh, look, it's a thing. Um. A spell bomb. What you got untapped over there? I've got a 1-1, one, one, a 1-2, one, and a 3-3 three, three right now. Oh. Hmm. Right now, huh? Mm-hmm. Um. Sorry, I'm trying to think. Seven. Hmm. That's it. And ornithologist, what do you have? I have a planeswalker. A planeswalker. And he's in two life, so. I mean, do you want me to just mercy kill you? Because I totally can. I mean, you could. But... It wasn't a do anything about it. He can't do anything either way, is what he's saying. Okay. Whether, whether uh, he's in or out. <laughs> well, Brian Maz is going to come in for four and have it, another kitty join him. Okay, that's going to make Adeline a ten. Oh, boy. In fact, uh, doesn't Adeline also trigger and make an additional 1-1 one, one that's attacking as well? Yeah. She did, did she have to attack? Uh, I thought she had to do it herself. No, nope. it's... No. Nope. It's just whenever you attack, I make a uh, human creature token for each opponent. That, that is being okay. attacked. For each Fair opponent enough. being attacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so she'll get one, and her ad line will go to 11. It'll be an 11 4. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty decent. Especially if all your removal is uh, damage based, and she's got a wanderer out. <laughs> yeah, that's not doing me any favors. Mm -hmm. so, you said some of that was coming at me? Uh, all of it. Awesome. Oh, everything? I thought it was just the Brahmaz, the Cat Soldier, and an additional soldier. Well, yeah, that was it, right? It was seven days. Yeah, so it's it's Brahmaz, mm -hmm. the cat that he makes, and then the human that Adeline makes. Okay. Because I can't choose different targets for them. Mm hmm And you will gain, what, uh, four, five, five, six, seven life out of that? Or is it just four or five, six out of that? Uh, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, your cat soldier and your other soldier don't uh, gain the plus one, plus one for sword because they come into play after the ability is triggered. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. it gives all your creatures that ability and then they come in after, sadly. Okay. Then it is eight. No. Six. six. It would only be six. Yeah. Well, that's still six life, so that's still a good good swing for you. Yeah. Oh, no, I yep. guess it's not, because only Brymas would have lifelink, so it's still four life. So you still have 40, though. Still doing okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. still. Still good. You still knocked a player out. 
Yep. What other shenanigans you have over there? is is when it's not per turn they're mostly one ones and you have overrun effects the downside is is you only get one shot <laughs> yeah that's, that's for sure yeah, yeah. Uh, and, now i don't have 12 damage on the board so at least you're probably not going to be cracked back at or knocked out by me but okay yeah uh, so that's turn for me Okay, at the end of your turn, I'm going to brainstorm mostly to do this to create a cat token. Mm -hmm. And then I'll also draw three and put two back. One, two, three. Um, that's interesting. Ooh, wait. Yeah, that's kind of decent, I guess. I'm kind of late sleep. to the party. Mm -hmm. No, I don't have any solutions to the problem. I'm just thinking that's anger. Fine. You can't win them all, or in my case, yeah. some. You can't win them some. <laughs> uh, I'll oh wait, I also get a 1-1 flyer for playing an instant. Mm -hmm. um, and I should have dice on that. Two of those, and this is nothing. And those yeah. are bird tokens, right? They are bird. Uh, blue bird illusion tokens with flying, yes. Mm, okay. Uh, I, I couldn't find a bird against spirits. Same difference. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. Um, did you sacrifice a creature during your upkeep? Did not. It will be another one of these one one uh, insects. So okay. I'm gonna one insect. Okay, okay, okay. What do we do here? After all the drawing you've done in, uh, on other people's turns, do you not have a land to play? I do, but it's, it's not a, definitely not one to play, it's a problem. Ah. I'm gonna go, well, what's on top of my deck? I already know what's on top of my deck. I want to get rid of that, I think. Um, hmm. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I can go up to eight, and then up to nine, and that's one short of what I want it to be. <laughs> Darn. Is well, Coffin Lady, are you okay? Oh, sorry guys, I had to go do something. Are you okay? Right. I thought I heard you coughing. Oh yeah, still recovering from the flu. Mm. Oh. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I think I can do one thing and then I'll just have to wait it out and see if I can do another turn. One, two, three, four, five. I'll play five. And I'll cast uh, Hour of Promise. Uh, search for up to two lands, put them on the battlefield, tap, and shuffle my library. Sound good? Okay. Sure. All right. And I played an instant, so I get a flyer. And then I will, I'll get two lands. I'll get two, I'll get two. Okay. Move forward to song. Uh, sure. I'll get some fetches out, and then, yeah, that's what's in my deck. And because I got those, that's going to trigger this guy twice, the scoots one twice. So I'll go from 8 to 16 to 32. Mm -hmm. And most of them will be sick. I don't really want to draw the cards. Um, so we'll say this was a 7. Those are the ones that are good to go. So that's eight plus 26, 32, 26, sick ones. Um, and with that, uh, I think I will have to pass the turn and hold on for, actually I could attack. Was that doing anything for me? I don't think so. 
Probably not. Uh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. I'll pass. Most, most of her stuff is un untapped. I mean, you could do damage to me. Oh, wait, 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 whoa. This guy is massive. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, let's go back. I can't, I can't attack. Oh, but, that's right. Yeah, Don't... this guy is massive now. I, is it cast triggers on Lamb Holt or enters the battlefield triggers? When another creature enters the battlefield. So it went from five. So I had eight creatures and then 14 creatures in the battlefield. Another guy anywhere around me that I see. Um, so this should have 19 encounters on it, which is uh, six and six, and six and one. So almost stuff gets through, but they're not big enough yet to do a lot. Um, maybe I'll just draw some cards. See if I can find something cool to do. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I will, um, I'm going to combat, and I'll swing. I guess you could kill that, potentially. That's a, that's a risk. Um, I need to kill that also. Two of these are sick. Uh, two of these are sick. I'm going to swing three, um... And three of these at you. So there, I have a two-two, and it's gonna be five one ones mm -hmm. coming at you, lady. And they are unblockable at the moment. Unless you have a so creature two, that is thirty-seven power or more, or whatever that is. Yeah, no, no big deal. That's no word out there. Uh, yeah. So that's what I got. So uh, does she shuffle what? So. One, two, three, okay. four. So uh, yeah, I'm, attacking, I'm attacking you for seven, and at the moment it's unblockable. Because of the this guy, the champion of Lane Hall. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. any mm. thoughts on that? Yep. Oh. Um. Uh, What? You just ran headfirst into her back wing broom, my friend. I mean, it happens, you know. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, no point. Uh, alright, so, yeah. Bat wing broom for one tall. Uh, combat damage that will be dealt this turn. If white was spent, I'm paying the white and the black. Um, each player loses one life for each attacking creature. Oh, the number she of controls. Five. Five. Wait, six, six, sorry, one more. Yeah, so, so one six more creatures. Yeah. yeah. Um, alright, well, I had to try something at some point. Um, and I have some zombies to go along with that for my lands, and that'll be my turn. Actually, I can play a land to get another zombie. And you already played a land this turn, I thought. Did I? Okay. Yeah, yeah it's how you, you got, got 36. Oh, uh, yeah, because that, you're not wrong. Okay, yeah. and the two zombies come from the, uh, the uh, field, field of the, of the dead. dead. Okay. Yeah. Me? All right. Well, I did all I could. I tried. Okay. I'll prepare for death to come. Uh, untap. Upkeep. Two, three, Draw. Six, seven. Yeah, I don't think I can do much. Um. Hmm. Maybe the life ink and the tokens are hurtful. Um, yeah, I'll pay one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Oh, actually, ha ha. Ha ha. Please. I'll plus, oh, I can't do that ability anymore. Jake explains Walker's not on the board. Um. You can make us a start now. It's fine. Well, it's, it's into exile, you know? Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I draw, and then you have to exile a card from your hand or a card in play. At least you both have something in play, a permanent in, in play you could exile and you wouldn't care about. You've got tokens. A, a few of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know what? Do any of your uh, Planeswalkers tick up for plus two, um, lady? Uh, No, everything out right now is just plus ones. Mm, okay, and I'll just... 
I'll just plus one and then I will uh, draw a card and you each have to choose to either exile a card from your hand um, or you have to uh, exile a permanent on the battlefield. So one or the other. Since you've got plenty of one one tokens, I don't think either of you are gonna hurt for that. So Yeah. Um, I draw land. Oh actually I don't wanna play that yet. I draw land and I pay one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll play commence the end game. The spell can't be countered. I'll draw two cards and a mass equal to the number of cards in my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'll put <laughs> seven counters on the bloodline pretender. Oh, cool. I did get something. But I'm not going to play it because it won't do me any good. I'll play a land and I'll tap two. And I'm going to Callous Dismissal, your uh, champion of Lambholt, Fred. Why would you do such a thing? Because if I wait for it to get to her turn, she'll use the Wanderer to destroy it, exile it from play. If I bounce it to your mm -hmm. hand and you play one land, you're pretty much right back where you were. Okay. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, also, in doing that, I get to amass one, so I'll put a 1-1 one -one counter on this other zombie. I think you were thinking it was actually a negative action against you, but it's kind of not. I just yeah. saved, saved your duder. <laughs> I appreciate um, it. Um, and then I will pass, and I guess just wait for death, because I can't do much. I'm just moral <laughs> support for whoever's going to be uh, the king, basically, right now. So. <laughs> I need to have an actual actual thing to do. Normally having a lot of creatures is good, but not anymore. Not anymore. I know the fix for that. It's to turn off the autofocus. <laughs> um, two white for a Johnny Goldmean. And I am going to minus one him. What's that do? Uh, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. They gain vigilance this turn. So because I've got a, first. Yeah. Oh, wow. So I've got a got a table question for you guys. What's mm -hmm. up? Um when you get a chance, what is everybody's favorite game gang? Sorry, from New Capenna, if any. Uh, Horizons torn between the Cabarati and the Riveters. Um, personally, just to start out, I'm a big fan of the Brokers, but I've always been a fan of Bant, and I just like the idea of them being the deal makers. But I'll probably play anything. It'll depend on what each guild's special function will be, if that makes any sense. What about you guys? I haven't looked at enough of the new set. I'm kind of one of those that just kind of waits for things to come out. And mm -hmm. I've gotten into the habit of just looking at singles. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah so I would I, say it's uh, it shards colors, if that helped you. Was there a favorite shard you had on Alar? Oh. I'll let you think on that. How about you, Mr. Jake? Um, you know, I don't. I haven't actually chosen a lot about the the gangsters. I'm I'm kind of more more rooting for the random people walking around during the day. <laughs> uh, but that mostly limits it to Vivian and uh, and Elspeth. So what do you do? Uh, well, Vivian is a betrayer slash spy, and Elspeth is an investigator, which used to be Jake's uh, Jace's role. So it's kind of interesting. To see them play those noir roles, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I haven't really gotten any solid like interest in any of them yet, just because I haven't really seen a lot of the cards in them yet. Well, um, you're you're, you're going to build a deck completely around Umbrask. Um, <laughs> Red Fire Rexian Praetor. 
He's actually you know, fairly fair. He just makes everybody play by the same rule, which is whenever you draw cards, instead you exile cards and play some of your library. You know, <laughs> I think he might actually be kind of not very good, but I don't know yet. I don't think uh, he's meant to I be good, to be honest with you. I kind of want to, I'm kind of trying to withhold judgment until I actually see him, uh, like, on a table. But, like, that whole... Because you get to draw a card, and then you get an impulse draw, and you turn everyone else's normal draws for the turn into impulse draws. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. It, it's interesting, and I want to see how it does on the table, like, in real life, before mm -hmm. I kind of think whether it's good or bad. Okay. What about you, uh, Fred? Is it going to be whichever one has red-green in it? <laughs> <laughs> I just I haven't I also haven't looked too much at too many things I, I haven't seen too many of the spoilers but uh I've seen Bant looks pretty good and also Jun those aren't usually colors I play all the time but I've seen some good cards in those colors so far so I might be leaning towards those those charts but yeah all right uh -huh. for some reason my spell table capture just is like terrible. I'm trying to fix it. Poor whoever's on our stream not seeing anything right now. Uh, fix it. Well, back to you, lady. You were in the middle of a massive combat. Did you uh, decide on a game, or did you pass for now? <laughs> I oh, I'm, I'm actually working. Uh, hey, Fred, what is that next to your um, zombie tokens? <laughs> next to the zombie tokens is Murmuring Mystic. It creates a 1-1 one, one flyer every time I play an instant or sorcery. And this is Joel Real. Whenever I draw my second card each turn, I get a 2-2 two, two cat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am alting my Sword Lord of Innistrad. Mm -hmm. I am stealing your Orin Frost Fang. Hate it. Hate to hear it. Um, okay. Wait, which... Which one are you oh, not the not your main one. The other yeah, one. my like commander. Oh, what's it? Destroy up to three target creatures and or other playing blockers. Return each card uh, oh. put into the graveyard this way into the battlefield under your control. Okay, okay. What else are you hitting? Um. Oh. You're murmuring mystic in your Jorial. Can I ask you something weird about his uh, alt? Because uh, something just occurred to me and I want to pick a brain here. Mm -hmm. um, does it say that opponents control that you have to destroy? No. It doesn't. So oh, it's destroy up to three target creatures and or other planeswalkers. Return each card put into a graveyard of this oh, yeah. way into the battlefield yeah. under your control. Okay, so here's something fun you can also do in a lot of cases. You could minus all your Planeswalkers getting all of their abilities, then bring them back into play at their starting loyalty. With that. Yeah, but Death Touch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so what I want to do is I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to cast this Tales End after you choose your target. I'm going to counter the activated ability. Hmm. Oh. So it just didn't yeah. happen. I would, I would prefer that it didn't. Well, that is a thing. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, lady, did you sacrifice a non-zombie creature during your upkeep? No, I did not. Okay. <laughs> that thing is going to be a problem. They don't have a lot of good solutions for that. What's going to be a problem? Uh, to deal with the... Actually, the Wanderer can't hit that. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, now I'm just thinking of trying to play through some tasks in my head here. Trying to get out of this situation. Well, you've got plenty of blockers. That's not the issue. <laughs> for sure. For sure. In fact, you both do. 
Yeah, all my stuff has vigilance right now, anyway. Yeah. Um, and plus one, plus one counters. But that's a lot of counters. I didn't want to do that. Um. Hmm. What are you trying to read there? Oh, you're just um, trying to look up what it says. Yeah, I know the I know the wording. I'm just trying to get it exactly correct. But it doesn't like me. It wants me to put it down. But okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. I want to do this. I wonder why my camera is so fuzzy. What I normally do, well, like because autofocus on, is you put something really close to it and then slowly back it away, very slowly. Oh, well, my it. problem is, is the thing it's not seeing is my table. So, yeah. Nice. So even if I bring something close to it, that's not really what I want it focused on. I want it focused on the thing down here. Come on. Well, that's fine. Can't win them all. I think I just keep up with the uh, sets and the gangs and stuff a lot because uh, I need to know if I need to make a video for it, you know? So That makes sense. Uh, the charms are all pretty good. Every single one of them uh, is decent. Yeah, the, the Jun one is, it seems to be the strongest so far, and then the Bant one's pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. I haven't really noticed the other ones. Well, all of them but one have a destroyed target planeswalker. Oh, that's pretty good. And I've seen at least two or three of them draw cards, too. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not bad. And I like um, charms and like multi-ability spells as signature spells in the format. Just because rather than having one spell in my, my command zone, if I can have four, I'm okay with that. Or three, you know? I like extra modes. Yeah. I think Lady might have your number, Red. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's it's uh, it seems kind of like impending doom. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do this. What what any of us really need to kind of get this game back to being manager is manageable is a board wipe, but that's probably not going to happen this game. Yeah. You, it'd, have to, it'd have to be you, because I doubt she's playing too many, and I'm not. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm giving everything plus one, plus oh, and life link. Yep. So I've got plus two, plus one on all of my creatures, and life link. Mm -hmm. But most of them already have life link, so. Oh, let's see here. Um, okay. Eleven. 14, 15. 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 22, 30. 34. You done some of them today for? Yeah. Uh, so 34 coming into you, Fred. Oh, boy. Just because I want to be excessive. And um and I also get a soldier coming in for an extra three so thirty seven. And then this is gonna be a ten cat. I think okay. you get more than one soldier. I think you get a bunch, don't you? No, it's for each attacking person, right? Each person each person you're attacking. Whenever you attack for each opponent, create a woman human token and stuff and attack that player. I guess so. I just feel like I get hit with a way harder but in arena. She is. No, no, she is a. Uh, a 13, 6, 14, 14. No. 
14. 15. She's a 15 4. You're. Any, do you have any tramplers over there? No. But it's all Vigi lifelink. Vigi lifelink. Um, so this is 26. I mean, how many how many creatures is that on? Besides the two big ones, like all the small ones. How many small creatures? Two new ones? Or Yeah. Uh so that would be Adeline Primaz. Yeah. His two we'll cats. After the game. Two three vampires. And the welcoming vampire in the air. Six, seven. Yeah. <coughs> so that is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, seven. Uh, so I'm just gonna block. I guess I'll block all the ones on the ground. Mm-hmm. And I'll double block them to the guy. So that's. Uh, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> on the ground, as well as small things on the ground. Eight, so that's 16 of these guys. So that switches this down to four. So I have 10 of those left. So I'm just double blocking all those so they die. And then the flyers get through. So I'll take the three in the air at least. Okay. And uh, then I'll just uh, chump block Adeline and Brimlass. So that'll bring this down to a manageable eight. Okay. So I still gain a billion. 40 life? That seems like that. reasonable. That's not a problem at all. Yeah, fine. Yeah, pretty sure that's correct. Whatever your damage was, you know, uh, is what you gain, yeah. Yeah. Now, does that also kill Adeline and Brahmaz, or do you just chump block for one each? I just, ch- oh, well, I guess I could throw more stuff away. What am I, what am I doing with it? Um, I can't, what, what is that? Wait, is she like a 12-4? Uh, she is a 12-4, uh, but she also has plus two, plus one. So she would be a 14-5. I'll try to, I'll try to clean up, yeah. Uh, so I need to put three more in front of us, or three more in front of us. So, down to two of these left. I'll try to kill Bramaz and, uh, Adeline also. Okay. And then you're taking five in the air? Oh, or five? Oh, four. Was... Sorry, four in the air. I'm okay. sorry. Mm, I miscounted. That's a problem. Mm-hmm. That is a problem. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, wait. I don't, you don't have any flyers. Okay. Yeah. Can't do anything about that. Cool, cool. Yeah, you had an attacker with your flyers last turn. So. Yeah, that was a mistake. Let's see. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. Cool. So let's see here. Second main phase. I'm gonna pop my breath of melodies and gain a whole two life. Yay! I miss you, you ornithologist. <laughs> you died too soon. Gone okay. too soon. Uh, and that is turn. Alrighty. It. I don't think I tell um, you. Name, did you I? have a you have a ton <laughs> of mana, right? I do have quite a bit of mana open right now. Mm. Can you, you can't play it more than once, can you? If you had to, for some reason? Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, it costs four right now. No, I can only play it once. I'm just going to combine these. Six plus the three is nine. And that goes away. But why would I be playing it more than once in a turn? No reason. Just just curious. No, nothing to worry about. Just thinking. Uh, okay. Untap a keep draw. He has a way to take multiple combat steps. Would that, would that mean someone something I would do? That sounds like lunacy. I would never do such a thing. Um, but with the, unless you can dish out like 40 life in one turn, I'm not really worried about multiple combat steps. <laughs> That's very true. That is very true. Yeah. Um, do you, you don't, do you have, you have, one, uh, you have two blockers. Okay. And yeah, I've got a wall and my vampire. Yeah. How do I turn the auto focus off on this? I don't know what to do with this. Oh, um, I don't really have solutions to this. That's better. Um, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yeah, I had to uh, fight with it a bit, but four, it's okay for five. now. What if I just play my commander and just live my life that way? 
And but that doesn't. No, I guess that sort of. Well, you can kill it if you wanted to, but I get to draw a card, which isn't bad. Um, none of these solutions are great. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna play this guy. I'm gonna play this Tender Sheet Dryad. Beginning of my mm -hmm. upkeep, up, at the beginning of each upkeep, I get a one-one Sapperling token, and as long as he's uh. As long as I ascend, I have like 10 permanents that he, they, all, all the sapperlings get plus two plus two. Hey Fred, you so might want to pull your hand back a little bit. What's that? Oh, he's, never he's mind. He's getting flat, yeah. That was, that oh. was Liam. I'm yeah. sorry. I thought that was your hand. I'm like, wait a oh, minute. Was, uh, no, 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 that's the, yeah, I'm tapping for this guy. Uh, okay, I'll, I was confused. I'll play that. I don't think I can attack in a good way. But this is yeah. the only time I do get to attack right now. Um. You have all these things. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know how to get out of this, really. Uh, I'll just play, play my stuff out and mm -hmm. set about it. Okay. Did you, you uh, kind of... sacrifice a creature that wasn't a zombie during your upkeep? That wasn't a zombie. I'll sacrifice one of these, because why not? Mm -hmm. um, hmm. I'll play a tap land, which will get me a zombie, and that'll double those. And then I will just uh, hang out. I have, so I have three zombies total. I will... This eight becomes 17 twice is 34. Um, I have 34 of these. And then I'll just um, hang out. And... Um, you yeah, like direct I damage is what wins this game now. <laughs> well, yeah, cause, but I can't, like, like the, the wonder is over there. I can't even do that. Actually, mm -hmm. wait, that presents, what is, what is that? Is that oh. I'm sorry, do I need to move something? No, I'm just trying to read it. Then I'll comment damage. Like, okay, it doesn't say anything about attacking you or anything. Okay. Doesn't matter what it is. Yeah, it's non-combat damage. damage. Yeah, all right. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like this isn't going great for me. I feel like I don't have a way to kill you, which is... Like basically losing in and of itself in a way. So mm -hmm. I'm just gonna pass okay. and figure it out next turn. <laughs> Let's see. Untap. Upkeep draw. Okay. Um, oh, I'll uptick my commander. I'll draw a card and you guys uh, have to exile a card or permanent that you control. Mmm, that's actually a problem now. Ooh. Okay. I'll exile a token. Um, I'll exile Soren Grim Nemesis. Just because okay. he doesn't fit in my... He doesn't fit in my worldview right now. Okay. Oh, oh, guys! I will pay one black for a change in the outcast. I'm going to pay uh, three mana for a Mistwalker, and I'm going to play, uh, do I have two black? I do. I'll pay four mana for a Angrath Captain of Chaos. I'm going to tick him down to a mass two, so he'll go down to three. All my creatures have menace. That's relevant. I'll put the two uh, counters on my Changeling Outcast. And I'm going to uh, swing um, 10 damage into the water. I like this one. Oh. You don't want to swing with anything else? She can't attack you. She doesn't have haste. She's got two creatures, so... Um, Oh, uh, she's got a flyer and then the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a wall. Okay, fair enough. Yep. So I, if... Well, I probably should attack with one more, but I don't have anything else with A. So yeah, I'll attack with these two. So yeah. I think that's the one I want to attack into. Okay. Yeah, the one with two. Or the... No. What's going on? No, I guess not. I'm going to swing 10 into the Wanderer. Welcome. It's got Why? menace. Okay. Um. You should kill the one at eight. That's gonna ultimate. 
I don't mind if it alts. I don't even know what that one does, but it's, I feel like Zoom it's It'll here. force us to uh, sacrifice permanent every single turn, I believe. Isn't uh, about when broom that? Okay, I'll take the um, one. I will also... I guess I'll take the one as well. This is not good. Mm -hmm. Down to one. Can no, you I don't have take to, anything. Like, you don't take yeah, anything. I'm the only anything. one that takes something, Fred. Oh. You take, you take damage oh, for each everybody. creature that's attacking. No, no. Uh, so the controller of the attacking okay. creatures takes the damage. Gotcha, gotcha. Yep. Um, and I will pass. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I get my second um, separate link. Which I had a token for. There we go. Okay. Okay. okay you, did you get a separate link for my turn and her turn so far, Chris? Yeah, those are the two. Yep. Lady, did you sacrifice a non zombie creature at the beginning of your turn during your upkeep? I think I lost her. Uh oh. I don't know if she can hear us again. Go no, ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, I got rid of my wall. Oh, okay. I didn't see it. I think my screen just lagged, sadly. Hmm. Indeed. Indeed. All right. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. One last one. The Soren for mm -hmm. a vampire. Seems good. So much life. Hey! <laughs> all the things. I want all things. the things. And then I draw for the welcome of the vampire, which I haven't done. Oops. Okay. Does the welcoming vampire only trigger once a turn? Or. It does. Oh, bummer. Okay. I was thinking maybe during some of those ad line triggers and stuff, she should have been getting more, you oh, know, yeah. stuff. Yeah. Miss. Missing to center. Yeah. Doom to center is pretty good. Just on the fact that my son is being. Well, he was crying in the background sorry. earlier, so I hope he's okay. He's fine. He's, yeah, so... he's playing rough with the dog. Oh. Mm. So I'm gonna make a a vampire that is a two-two flyer. Mm-hmm. Well, you become a nail biter. 
Iya. And then I'll go ahead and one at Johnny. Mm-hmm. We'll give him the fields. A whole two lives. And then I don't have the ability to win that I'm thinking for. Because, like, you can always fall. I, I have to get my guy out, play the overrun, attack, follow the. And get my guy, really. I have a counter spell for the fog? Yeah, I don't have hard counters. I just have, like, all, like stuff like this, like, spells in. I got a couple of things. I don't have any, like, uh, like a real spell, so I can't get past that. So, are you I mean, conceding, or what's going on? I believe so, yeah. I think I'm just, yeah, I, I think I'm in a bad state. I'm too, my life's too low, I can't really pass all of it. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's a bummer. So I think I'm, I'm gonna bow out. I think, I think you got it, lady. Okay. So I guess but it goes back, to, back, um, I guess it goes to my turn. Indeed. Yeah, untap, keep draw. I'm gonna amass two. I totally um, didn't expect this game to go this long. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be a beatdown. So, I'm going to swing all of my. Uh, what? What's your Johnny at? I can't. The glare is just making it hard to read his, his loyalty token. Sorry. I had to turn the lights back on. He's at four. He's That's at four. Also- Really poorly yeah. drawn for. So. Okay. Yeah, just a sec. That does change things slightly. Okay. Um, I'm gonna pay three. Um, and I'm going to play Invade the City. I'm gonna mass yep. X, where X is the number of instants and sorcery cards in the graveyard. So I'll mass for three. Um. And Ooh. Uh-huh. The graveyard eight. Um going to play mm-hmm. Kaya's Battle. I'm going to excite uh Betty's graveyards. Um how's that read? You're uh, now really two. battle, son. Yep. Uh, choose two. Each mm-hmm. op- sacrifice a creature. Exile all cards from each opponent's graveyard. Create one and black spirit creature token. Flying, or you gain four life. And choose. Two. I did not pay the entwine. So. Okay. So. So I'm exiling your graveyard. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna make myself a spirit token. Okay. Let's see. So then this goes to my graveyard. Let's see. Um, which um, one of those? Let's see. Hmm. I think about this. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Yep. Left a card. I guess I will uh, draw a card and make you exile a, car- a thing either from in play or from your hand. Um. I'm going to swing um, four unblockable at a Johnny.
<laughs> and I'll pass the turn. Something. Oh, for your entertainment, yeah. Yeah, you still do. Yeah, you have this a uh, uh, non uh, a zombie. Yep. So I'm gonna get a zombie. Mhm. Mm hey, something you never have to sacrifice. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Tokens out there for it. Wasn't enough this time. <laughs> well, you were both up against token armies, so it was just about who could keep the pressure on longer. I think if you would have just kept Scoots warming out, though, you would have won it eventually. <coughs> I don't know if I could. I would, I would need her to like to tap all the way down, basically. Mm. That's fair, because. I can attack with like one big creature. You have to attack with a bunch and f and fear uh, blade wing broom every single time. Exactly. Yeah, taking one for attacking with one dude is definitely different than taking thirty six for attacking with thirty six dudes for sure. <laughs> yeah, and I don't have any lifelink either, so I can't get back. It's pretty good. I got a card that's been dead in my hand since the beginning of the game because I played a uh, call to the grave and it's killing me. A Johnny Wise Counselor. Sorry, what? Nothing. A Johnny Wise Counselor. Cool. And I'm going to plus two him. Gain one life for each creature I control. Mm hmm. Because that's necessary. Two life for each creature you control. Interesting. Yeah. Ninety. Do you have any flyers? Yes, I do. I have a 4-7 flyer. Big beefy. Hmm. Mm -hmm, 
Mm-hmm. Pass turn. Okay. Oh, untap. Uh, nope. Missed one. Draw. I'll play a land for turn. I'll pay one for faithless looting, so I'll draw two cards and then discard two cards. Okay. I'll discard a Water Spout Weaver and a Swamp since I already played my land for turn. I'll pay one and two black for Bleeding Edge. I'm going to give target creature minus two, minus two until end of turn and then a mass two. Response? Nope. Okay, I'm going to kill um, the 2-2 two -two with flying. Or actually, what's the um, the welcoming vampire? Is she a 2-3 or 2-2? 2-3. Two -two? Two -three. Uh, the 2-2 two -two with flying, then. Okay. okay, I'll amass 2. Um, real quick, um, let me just look at your planeswalker abilities since I can use any of them. What is your Johnny's name? He is a Johnny Wise Counselor. Johnny. This is the downside with playing home playing one life for each. Creatures I control get plus two plus two till end of turn. X is my life total. Hmm. None of those are very good for me. Um what does your uh Soren do? Which one? I have two uh, out. Which which <laughs> ones do you have? I have Soren Solemn Visitor. Let me check that one first. And... Okay, and what's the other one? Lord of Innistrad. Oh, oh Lord of Lord. How's your day Lord of Innistrad. Story up to three target creatures and or planeswalkers. Turn those cards to the battlefield. I'm going to use Soren Lords of Innistrad's alt ability for six. Okay. Any response? Nope. I'm going to destroy the Wanderer, um, Soren Lord of Innistrad, and your other Soren. Okay. So I'll take, take all your planeswalkers. Okay. Um, so starting with Lord of Innistrad, when it comes into play, I'm going to minus to it to make an emblem. Um, what was the next Sworn? Was Solemn Visitor? Solemn Visitor. Yeah, I'm going to plus one it, I guess, to make a vampire creature token with life on it. In uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> almost for 100 life, but it's 8 free. Mm -hmm. Um might need to goop just on time okay yeah i was just working towards killing all your or all your vampires and just using nico bolas's alt to make you lose the game for not having any planeswalkers or legendary creatures was my end game so i wasn't uh, ultimately going to worry about your life total so that's why i kept playing even after fred after fred scooped i mean that's a good idea mm -hmm. i wonder where you're going with that nice yeah yeah, because I yeah, can it's, actually... It's gotten too late and okay. being difficult. Yeah, because I was going to unblockable hit your Johnny as well, killing it. So yeah. so it I still would have taken quite a few turns. I would have had to keep dealing with every legendary creature and planeswalker you played from that point on. But mm -hmm. I, I think I could have got there eventually unless you finally got a huge army going again. Yeah. So, so. Well, why don't we just call it a draw, you know, but that was that was my end game as I was just trying to in fact that's how I was gonna try to beat Fred too if he stayed in is <laughs> I noticed you kept not playing your planeswalker, so I'm like, um huh. Yeah, yeah well thanks for the game, yeah, was... guys. Yeah. Yeah. Good game, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Didn't even get to play my signature spell once. <laughs> That's okay. Yes. Mass, mass protect spells and signature spells are pretty helpful. So. Alright. Well, good. Yes. I, got, I will uh, see y'all on the host side. Yeah. Thank you uh, so much. Thanks.
Do you guys have anything else you want to talk about or, or go over after game? Any thoughts you had on anybody else's decks or anything? No, that spell is really strong. I didn't, the signature spell uh, is like, you know, it's really good. Yeah, it's not yeah. too much of a problem. Do That's fine. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, it's, it was my own fault in the, in the real, uh, some of the thing, so. Next, so uh, next, next time, yeah, always. I, I really thought Lady had you, I just think she miss counted on the number of creatures you have, and I'm almost entirely certain that we were doing Adeline wrong. I think the way Adeline reads is that when you attack, you create a 1-1 for each, you know, opponent. But I think if you read that a different way, every time she declares an attack with a separate creature, because it doesn't say every time you go to your attack step, you know? Because I remember Adeline just schooling me on Arena and people attacking getting a bunch of 1-1 soldiers out of it. So, I'm thinking we were playing Ad Adeline wrong, you know? Um, Quite possible. But, I mean, for what we did, you know, that was still fun and nutty. So, I think I'm going to see, since we got some viewers, I might just throw them over to some other person that needs needs some love. So, I'll just raid somebody else. Thank you guys so much for dropping in yeah. and, and the great games. Oh, I really do appreciate it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Actually, no, Sarkon the, the un oh, Horizon said, Sarkon the Unbroken was actually the first Planeswalker I ever saw, so it was really cool to see someone play him in Oathbreaker. Fred has a deck with Sarkon. I think it's you, right? Where you uh, use a signature spell to go and get uh, the thing that doubles the counters on something, and then you alt Sarkon immediately and uh, <laughs> and, and go and uh, just win the game, get every dragon out of your deck and play him, or is that somebody else I'm thinking of? <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't have any dragons in this one. I haven't, I haven't built. This is my only Sarkon. I think that's my. That deck sounds interesting now. I like uh, it. Yeah, yeah which. My Sarkon deck does that, but not with a signature spell to pull that win condition. Then yeah, it's. <laughs> what is the name of that um, creature that. Um, deep Blow deep Skate. Blow Skate? Yeah. So yeah. the person. Yeah, would get Deep Blow Skate out of the deck the minute they could play their signature spell, Alt Sarkon, and then just drop all the dragons into play and win. It was it was a little rude. <laughs> I think we spent an entire night just constantly killing their Planeswalker every time they played it just so they could never get there, you know? So, well, thanks again, guys. Yeah. I'm going to go out to the main screen. I, I thank you so much. Yep. It was a pleasure. I'll see y'all. Y'all have a good night. Good night, everybody. Thank you all for being here. I'm going to see who else is online that we can maybe raid over to that's still playing that might have something fun, interesting, and or exciting going on for us all. Let's see. Who can we raid that is online? Oops, I think I hit manage goal instead of raid. Also, I think my video is buffering really bad all of a sudden. Interesting. <laughs> no! <laughs> well... Didn't look like it's going to let me raid. Um, I'm actually fighting with it, so I think I'm just going <laughs> to call the end of the stream. A zombie apocalypse is online with six viewers. Um, it's actually not letting me connect to raid. It's just giving me an error message. So um, if you guys want, check out a zombie apocalypse. I guess they need viewers. And I hope you have a great evening, and uh, thank you for stopping by.